Hello everyone. So in the previous video I estimated a linear regression model and now I will talk about I will be talking about the five assumptions of linear regression models. And it is important to address these assumptions, to meet these assumptions, because otherwise we cannot really trust the parameters or the coefficients that we have received or we have estimated. So the first one is that the regression model can be expressed in a linear way and we can actually kind of see it based on some scatter plots. The second one is the expected mean error of the regression model is zero. Actually there is no need to test for it because this is by default how the regression model works. Okay, but still we can see that this assumption is met. Okay, I will show how in space as soon. Okay. The third one is that the variance of the errors is constant, which is known as homoscedasticity. Okay, and I will be talking a little bit more about it in the upcoming slides. Then the fourth one is that the errors are independent. That means the errors are not correlated with each other. It is not really relevant for cross-sectional data, but when we have panel data or time series data, then it is relevant because the error term of today can be associated with, with error terms of yesterday, which is the autocorrelation. And we don't want autocorrelation in our uh, in our sample because then our estimates cannot be again trusted. Okay, and then we have one optional assumption which is usually used to determine the significance of the parameters and that is the errors are approximately normally distributed okay so there are actually more assumptions of linear regression but these are the major five ones okay and i will show you now one by one how to test them in spaces